Hello everyone. I'm going to talk today about how to find a critical value or percentage points from the standard normal distribution. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, I'm after a value here such that the probability that z is less than a is equal to a probability. I'm after this value a. So in a picture, it looks like this. This is the standard normal. It's centered around zero. Now because this is a probability and it's bigger than a half, we know that the value of a must be to the right of zero. If this value is less than a half, it must be to the left of zero. Because recall the area under the normal curve sums to one. And sit by symmetry, since it's symmetrical around zero, you must have half the area to the left of the zero, half the area to the right of zero. So that's why I've drawn it like this, and not, let's note, not like this, for example. Okay, that shaded region would not represent 0 0.975, would it? Okay, that's important because we know that any value to the right of the zero, that is going to be a positive value, positive a, anything to the left of zero will be a negative value. Okay? Now, just to recap then, we're after the critical value. These critical values are expressed of the form something like probability that z is less than or greater than or between two values, which we have to find, and then equals to some probability which we are given. All right. Note this is different. It's the reverse of the problem I've already gone through before, where we are given a value for the percentage point, like 1.96, and we have to find the probability. So here it's reversed because I'm given the probability, and now I have to find this, what you guys call the critical value stroke percentage point. OK, now. Before I give you some examples, I'm going to make three. I'm going to make three videos on this, um, because one for each format of the table. Because recall that there are more than one kind of table for the standard normal. Some tables will give you the area to the left of the value a. Some tables will give you to the right of the value a. Some tables will give you the area between 0 and a. And yet there are still more, but these are the three most common ones you are likely to encounter on a course. I think one other one that I haven't mentioned is I've seen one where a biologist um, had a table where it included negative values of a. All right, but so that is very rare. I've usually just the tables I've seen is like this, like this, or like this. Okay. Right. So in this uh, video, let's start off with looking at the cumulative standard normal. Let's find show you how to find critical values when I'm after uh, when when I'm using a table that gives me this area to the left of a. And uh, okay. Now before I part of this, let's say why we want to find the critical values. Okay, you might be after the value of A specifically if you are doing hypothesis testing or confidence intervals. So when you are doing one of those two, but not only those two, but usually if it's just hypothesis testing or confidence intervals, you'll be after the critical values. Alright, so let's look at some examples now. Well, let's start with this first question probability that z is less than a value of a, which I have to find, is equal to this probability, 0.975. Well, since this probability is bigger than a half, we know the point a here must be to the right of 0. And it must be quite far in the tails, because, you know, 0.975, that's like 97.5% of the area. is to the left of this point a. OK. Now, we can Next, go to the tables. This is from the statisticsmentor.website, but you can 
find it in your stats tables. And we're using the cumulative here, so cumulative standard normal, so that's the probability that Z is less than A. Now, recall that the figures in bold here make up the percentage point, what you guys call the critical values. This, everything, all the other numbers in the body of the table are the probabilities to the left of the point A. Okay. Right, so we want 0 0.97. So let's look at these figures. Can you see that starting from 0 0.5 and that increases 0 0.540, 0 0.08, yeah, I mean it's, and we're going row-wise like this. When we're going row-wise like this, it means that we are shifting along this axis. We are shift. We are moving this way. Okay, and that's why the numbers, the probability is increasing because obviously as you slide along, the probability to the left of the point A is also increasing. So we can move quickly down because we're after the figure 0 0.97 so that's a fair way down 0 0.97 sorry not 0.975 we want yeah not 0.975 so slide along here not 0.9745 aha so in this case we stop here we've got it exactly not 0.9750 alright so the percentage point now the first of critical value, the first up to the first decimal place is given by the figure on the row, so that's 1.9, and then we'll make up the second decimal place by going up the column 0 0.06. So 1.9 plus 0 0.06 is 1.96, so that's the answer. So directly from the tables, we write directly from the tables A equals. 1.96. Next, we have probability of z less than a equals 0 0.025, and we wish to find a. Okay, well, see this probability is less than 0 0.05 this time. So it means that we must be to the left of zero here because the area less than a half and since it's such a small probability 2.5 percent basically let's say something like that so this shaded region will represent about two and a half percent this is a and note that since it's in the negative territory negative territory we can put it's a minus a figure all right now so we know the answer is going to be a minus figure but our tables our standard cumulative uh, cumulative standard normal tables gives us only positive values of A. So here is where we have to kind of re-express this so uh, using the idea of symmetry. Now note that this here is basically equivalent or well, that value A will be the same A as on the other side where this is two and a half percent. All right. But our table gives us to the area to the left of A. So in other words, our table will give us this. Well, if that's 2.5%, it must mean to the left, it must be 75.5%. In other words, this problem here is equivalent to the problem of saying that Z less than A is equal to 0 0.975 uh, but I have to be careful here because look the left these two a's are not the same really because that's a minus a and this is a plus a anyway um, just note that so this a is what I'm after and I can find it now straight from the table we just know that this a is different in sign to that a well we've already seen in the previous question what the value of a is for this problem. A is equal to 1.96. Therefore, my answer over here is minus A. My minus A is my answer is minus 1.96. Done. Other words here is minus 1.96. So there I've used the idea of symmetry 
to turn the negative a into a positive a. Okay, so the final type of question, probably that z is between minus a and plus a is equal to 0 0.9. Sketch standard normal, z on this side. Right, so we want plus a and a minus a, so these two numbers are the same, it's just different in sign, but at the interval, the shaded region, is not 0.9. Okay. Now we only have to find one of these numbers because the other one is the minus, it's the opposite sign. So why don't we just take the positive value because our table gives us positive values of these uh, percentage points. So that we can find A by looking at the area to the left of A, right? But what will this area come to? It will come to 0 0.9 plus the area to the left. Now, because this body here is 0 0.9, it must mean that these two end tails, their shaded region, must add up together to be 0.1, i.e. 10%. So it must be that there is 0 0.05, 5% 5 remaining in each tail. So this area must be 0 0.9 plus 0 0.05, in other words, 0 0.95 or 95%. So basically we are after that to find the A, we just need to look up the probability that Z is less than A is equal to 0 0.95. Okay, 0 0.95, so we'll slide along, it's 0 0.8, we need to go further down, 0 0.9, 0 0.94, 0 point, aha, so it's along here, look, because that's only 0 0.95, so let's slide along here, aha, and then we'll stop right here, because this time we don't have 0 0.95 exactly, we've got here 0 0.9495 and 0 0.9505, so let's write down the percentage point that those correspond to. So 0 0.9495 corresponds to percentage point of 1.64 and 0 0.9505 corresponds to percentage point of 1.65. Okay, I've written it down here. Probability at Z is less than 1.64 is 0 0.9495. Probability at Z is less than 1.65 is 0 0.9505. Our 0 0.95 is between these two. So it must be, mean our answer is also between 1.64 and 1.65. Okay. Well now here is, you can do a number of things here. It depends on what how, what you've been taught at, um, your, your teacher has taught you. We can round uh, down. So just say the answer is 1.64 or you could just round up 1.65 or we can note this that 0 0.95 here, 0 0.95 here, and we've got 0 0.9495, and the other critical uh, percentage point, 0 0.9, oh, got the wrong way around, 9495, 0 0.9505. Notice that the distance here to here, here to here, is the same, 0 0.0. 0 not, not, is that enough not? So many knots there. Five. Yes. That's minus not, but not, but five. Not, not, not five. In other words, since not point nine five is in the middle of these two percentage points, you could therefore say also that we could take one point six four, take the go down the middle between one point six four and 1.65, i.e. you could say 1.645, alright? But that's just, the, the, there we're just kind of guessing. This is what's called interpolation. Um, this procedure that we've gone through, because the value is not exactly, value of A's we want is not exact, is not the exact value of A we're after, is not in the table, we're basically just uh, kind of guessing what they call interpolation. Um, now, I 
don't want to put too much emphasis on interpolation because remember these tables were created in the days where computing power is very low but these days we can use computers to find out the exact value of A for us. Okay, So this pr process here is only really uh, for when you're dealing with exams or homework so these figures I wouldn't be too worried about them because it's, you're only going to be off by you know decimal you know, one to three decimal places or so okay so uh, so that's how you find percentage point stroke critical values for using the cumulative standard normal I'm Phil statistics mentor